Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my opinions, right? Let's play episode 70, I think. And, um, last time we found out a bit more information about the case. Found the freaking, do we have the ID of some random person? Uh huh. Don't still know how this guy is related to the case, is he? But uh, we also found out that the murder happened. Uh, the body was found at Edgeworth's car, which is kind of crazy. So, Edgeworth, what in the world? Let's talk about the case. So, the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After all, you went through that trouble. After. After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, wait, no, she didn't do that, I mean... Yes, wait. So, you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Mm, yes, sir, I'm a sky. It, um, nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Mm-hmm. Ah, I remember. You've really grown. I admit it was a surprise to me, too. The thing that my own car would become the scene of the murder. More surprisingly still, now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. <gasps> I can understand. Wait, wh what did you say? Lennis Guy is the chief prosecutor in the top of... A top prosecutor in the district. District. She she can prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You, Mr. Edgeward. Oh dear. Why did I? Well, let's speed this up. Why did I just? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That was a wasted. 10 seconds. Well, let's hope, let, let's talk about Edgewood. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You heard rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember the time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Ho ho ho. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Just like one karma the bitch in that case. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, <laughs> I knew it. There are some who say I'm still one of the resp one responsible for the current incident. It's crazy. Hmm. Some of, some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life impossible to stop. True. But some of them even go so far to as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There has to be a story behind that one. Well, let's talk about Lana Sky. Yes, you worked together on a case two years ago. First big case, cool. I remember. Two years ago, oh, here we go again. At least it isn't 15 years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. Yep, wish I was mistaken. It's taken high. I know she isn't the warmest person, but I don't know. I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Oh, what? Is that where your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Cool. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Wow. Come on. 
Can he take a choke? <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Indeed you do. Let's see. Do we have anything here? Let's examine this trophy. What the heck is this? It has a big, a big K on it. Mumbles of prosecutors. What? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. Sweet King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor they send the shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So... So the K, that's... Kinky? No, it's just King. Yeah, you, you got a problem with that, pal? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors, the uh, kind of... Like an employee of the month, only better. Oh, we got into the court record. How convenient. I surely wonder if it's going to play a big role later on. Wink, wink. Um. Is there anything on his desk? Nice desk. Ha 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 Strange, why did I just get a picture of... Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Hmm. Don't. He'll see you. Is there anything on this paper, or is it just going to say the same thing? What a nice day. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. And then we see Gumshoe. Hmm. Well. Let's present the trophy to Edgeward. Or we could also present the knife. Because I think Edgeward still has something to talk about. There are only three options and usually there is four. So in other words, uh, you were the best of... The best this year, huh? You can take the fruit is green elsewhere, right? I lost the day of work to receive that travesty. What's that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. Police department? Yes. Right next to police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Yes, about the shield. Why is it broken? Why does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He does seem too concerned about the, his award for, for better or worse, yes. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Hmm, I wonder if we have a new option now. And <laughs> we do. The day of the crime, let's talk about it. Then we're gonna be done with this, and we can move on. So, can you tell more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was an unusual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Uh, uh, oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual re uh, review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. What about defense attorneys? Why was I not invited? Aww. And that's when you got the shield. Yes, I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. That was, if I remember correctly, Three minutes uh, before the murder. People like myself and Mr. Edward Bright ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. Okay. No. I place a little fade in my memory. The only thing I can trust is solid evidence. Hmm. Parking stop. Cool. This is the parking stop from the underground lot. The murder took place around, uh, yeah, 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. Er, uh, what? Right? I appreciate it if you'd uh, 
you direct a suspicious glare elsewhere. <gasps> oh god. Who is this foolishly foolish fool person? But is Mr. Edgeford or elsewhere on the premises? I'm Mr. Edgeford, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of Chief. Sir, I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence of the case against the uh, Chief Prosecutor Sky? Ooh, I don't like the way this confirmation conversation is going at all. Sky, sir? No, sir. No, no name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeward's uh, lid blow. Is Edgeward, the uh, lid isn't on uh, very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, sir! I'm just following orders, sir. Told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the party. Give me your name. I'm um, yes, yeah, sir. Meekings, sir. Officer Meekings. Uh, I, I wish that we would have just seen Gumshoe. Uh, what's up with these silly officers? Okay, right. Officer Meekings. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that race next month. Ha ha. Ah, whimper. But sir, I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent the day they gave our gave out brains and good luck. Ha 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 Sir, God, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was detected from the same department as that patrolman right now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Cool. Ah, thanks. Yes, yes, calm down. Well, let's... We'll be on our way. Let's go back to the underground parking lot. And we still can't go and explore the trunk of the car, so... Yes, let's go to the police department entrance. Hmm... Didn't we see this thing at the beginning of this case? Hehe, <laughs> I wonder. Anyways... We're finally here, yes. Why would they put uh, the detectives so far away from the pro prosecutor's office? Yes, I think we're almost 30 minutes by taxi, and the traffic wasn't even that bad. Hmm. Oh, this is my first time. This is my first time to the police department, actually. What? Hold on, what's that? Oh god, I hate that thing. I hate that thing, and we will hate it even more later on on this case. If my memory just serves me right. Yes, it is disturbing. Why does it uh, undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. Hey, that's the name. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Right. Well, right, Mr. Wright, do you know a lot about the police department? Still, he doesn't seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's the next? Who's next to him? Oh, who is it dancing over there? Oh, oh, he noticed me. He's running over here fast, and I wonder if it's the. Yeah, it's Gumshoe. <laughs> hey, pal, what are you doing here? Uh, that's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? Well, oh, well, well, at least he doesn't seem too busy. This is our chance to get information. Information. Hey, pal. How you know I'm very busy, ba man, pal? Let's examine this blue batcher real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blue batcher. 
You made this detective gumshoe? The chief drew together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's pottery powered, so it can go anywhere. It can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. How oh, brilliant! Yes. Faded to dance until he drops. How sad. And how convenient we we got the blue badger to the court record. And now let's talk about shenanigans, the case. Okay, one word advice, cool. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime, we already know. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. Wait a minute. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Let's examine this just for the heck of it. Mm, Bruce Goodman. So, he is our. Uh, Mr. Murdered person in this case. The victim! Well, I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? That is silly. They're the reason we have written language in the first place. True, true. Yabadab. See? Yabadab. Well, it does have a certain ring to it. <laughs> yeah, it certainly doesn't. Well, now we know who's the victim. That's cool. That is cool. Do we have a profile of him? Uh, nope. But I guess after this. What if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. Plenty of evidence against him. Her, her, of course. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, Paul. I uh, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative to the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa, she prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, by the way. You might want to keep your voices down. Hmm, you don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just that sensitive issue with us these days. Mm-hmm, I see. The investigation. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? I would really like to get a report of the of the murder thingy. What's the thing? Why it's on t on the tip of my tongue? Oh, you can say it. Well, let's talk about this. I digress. Taking me out of the criminal affair. What? I can gum shoe. What did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. Oh, the lowest ranking guy there is our chief of detectives. They're not, they're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? Hmm. I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend time, spend a day uh, getting the badger dance down, Pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing the investigation, Pearl, and Officer Marshall is assigned to the underground parking lot. Oh. Marshall? 
Well, I think about it, Emma, Emma did seem to know that martial guy. A battle man in charge of the crime scene, it's unheard of. Help. I wonder if we should... Can we move, like, inside the building ourselves? Nope. Kinda figures, you know, it's closed for everyone. Even Gumshoe can't get it in. Well, uh, what if we present this ID? What can you tell me about this? Hey pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can keep that. Oh, police. Mm hmm. <laughs> he must have dropped his card along. <laughs> Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Huh? No, my mistake. Oh. Oh, I was thinking for- Whoa! Oh! Oh, he does remember. He's a victim! Oh, he does! Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Well, I think we can talk about uh, Bruce Goodman now. Yep. So, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself, Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think that's... it's... a bit strange? I mean, you know... Why would the victim ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Yes, that is a bit weird. Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Two years ago is going to be the word that we're going to be saying a lot in this case. Two years ago, eh? Well, few words. Yes, yes, I'm rambling. Evidence transfer, Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. Hmm, but he was killed at the prosecutor's office. And what? What? Okay. Okay, well that was a random bit of... Lag. No idea why. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot and... Lana Sky... Lana's confessing as much, yes. Well, let's present something else to him, you know. There's always four things. What about this knife? Yes. Yes, why would she? Yes, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Okay, someone who must have, um... Who oh, must have had grudge against Miss Dredgewood? The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Yeah. Just like in the last case, too many stuff cannot be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Can we talk to Gumshoe here? Nope. Well, let's... Let's present this thing. That's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award, Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Are you there? Of course, Pearl. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, huh. congratulations. I was wondering why is the award a shield and why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Okay, apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got uh, naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we heard the rumors. Can we talk to him? Yes, rumors at law, finally. Excellent. He's in tough spot again. Again? Oh yes, that thing. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. Yes, I do remember the best case of them all. But Edward was found innocent. 
Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses, nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one no one's whispering, they practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always been unusually strong. Uh, has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher ups. Hmm, it's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say that the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be on the the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullets on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that is all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We meet the guy who is... what's his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No. Jake Marshall is just a regular officer. He from West LA. Oh. For a moment there I wasn't sure. Look pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Nice. Letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe added to the court record. That is nice. Uh, it'll be... I'll be surprised if uh, this gets us anywhere. <laughs> Me too. Just act as you're supposed to. Be there and nobody will look at you twice. Pearl. Okay. So I'm guessing that will do for this episode. So next time when we come back, we are going back to the crime scene and we are going to present this letter of letter of whatchamacallit. Introduction! Yes. And then hopefully we get a chance to investigate the crime scene. So until then, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace!